Google launched their Gemini CLI, which is open source. Anyone can use it for free. All you need to have is a Gmail account. That's it. So let's go to the installation of this CLI. First, you need a terminal. Open your terminal. So th there is a Mac terminal. You can use your own Windows one. First thing first, it needs Node.js to be installed on your system. Installing Node.js is like, pretty straightforward. Just follow the link here, which I put the link in the description box. Just download that using simple exe file if your Windows or package file from the Mac. Then after the installation, go ahead, open your terminal where you want it to be stored on where you want this particular tool to be interacted with for example here is my folder click on it and open a new terminal at this folder and that's it and after that you need to run a few of few commands here first i suggest you to use this particular command rather than npx one just copy this and paste that in here so it will start installing the same i've already installed it for if you are a first time user you will be first called for the theme selection for and you can also change the theme just like here there's actually different kind of themes of Available. I use this IO one and next you will be asked to authenticate with Gemini CLI. There's actually three methods available as you can see here. First is to log in with the Google. When you select this, log in with your Google account and it, it will direct to the browser where you need to log in and it automatically detect that and you will be able to use that particular login for free. That's it. They have a rate limit, thousand model requests you can do per day with the Gemini for the free account and rest all you can use your own API key. Now, there is some command which you need to know about. For example, example they have a two type of commands first is with the slash when you type slash there are actually different of uh, 15 type of command for example about show the version of this tool authentication you can change the authentication to the free to the api however you want there's the chat option if you want to manage this chat history you can simply go ahead and if you want to clear all the conversation and most important is the mcp one if you want to install some mcp server which i am going to cover that in upcoming videos if you want to subscribe to this channel do ahead and get notified and there's a memory manage your memory the while you work on it let me that and after you could that you will found this statistics how much input token that is consumed how much output token is due. after you could activate the gemini all you need to do is just type npx gemini that's it it will start your gemini inside your terminal and if you use any code editor windsurf or i know vs code or something like that just open that and going to their going to the terminal just type npx gemini and it open there as well you can simply generate code with it and the second type of command is using the add option there is add this is all about the selection of your files or folders for example here are the list of files that is inside this particular folder where i'm where i have opened this terminal so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this timeline of this particular file i will type summarize this pdf something like this is very straightforward command let's see how it's going to perform and there you go so it's summarizing my document just like that so if you want to cancel anything just press escape and it will cancel that out and there you go okay moving to the next what else it can do it can generate code but we will do that later part let me give you an overview of what else it can do apart from the coding it can play around with your files for example if you have launched this particular tool or even if you give a part to this gram it can do a simple task like zipping that file compressing that file and uncompress that file and something like that for example here i say compress all files in this for two files that's it it says i have compressed all the files to this zip and list this this out yeah it has done what we have requested now let's go to the, your favorite part dedica code create a react invoice generator app you WS key whatever you call it to create one from pre template and export to PDF. That's it. So let's see if it can actually do that. And there you go. Okay, so first it wrote down the plan that it's going to use to build the app. Here is the plan. Application proposal. Same. The core technology and this, this, this. Go ahead if you are fine with it. So this way. Shall I proceed? Yes, proceed. So it start creating the app based on this plan. So let's wait for the output. And there you go. So it will also ask for the permissions just like shell permission so you can simply allow them yes so now it said react project it was already created now i will install the default dependencies so it's now progressing in it there you go and there you go it's creators generated a development server and there is our app pretty neat and pretty minimalist as you can see so here you can type everything you want description quantity price and there's a total price and click on download and it is invoice pdf this is pretty basic as you can see and if you iterate that more for example if you want to create something in intuitive and implement ai features you can go ahead and add that this is something which you are getting for free and you're getting four thousand requests per day free as per the rate limit you can exploit that to yourself 
and create anything you want. Let me suggest you one more thing which they have is tools. Slash tools. They have different kind of tools. For example, read folder, write, search, text. And it can also find files. It can also write files. Web fetch, read many files, shell, and Google search everywhere. And if you want to memorize something, for example, the memorize previous chat, you can say, save previous chat to your memory that's it and if you can go close this and come back tomorrow and it start where you have ended this way you can optimize your java cli and it works anywhere any system you want any file any project you're working on it works there flawlessly and it's available free for using your own google account say i've said the context of the previous session i remember that we are building a react invoice generator app and have set up project structure everything to its memory this is how you can use cli and also after you could that it will give you the input tokens you have used i have used 100k tokens output tokens is about this much thoughts token is about this much so you can see how much tokens you have used and optimize that in the upcoming session and also if you want to uninstall this you can follow this particular documentation which i posted on my website so how to use gemini agent and i also revealed 15 ways you use this there is a command that i pasted here this just type this into your CNI just like that and it will remove all dependencies of Gemini CNI. So that's it. How did you like it? For the starters, it's actually quite good but they also have some issues. What are those issues? They have a rate limit issue right now. I've already posted this issue that it's giving me a too many requests issue here and people are actually facing it. If you can see here, I've also provided with the screenshot. It may be resolved in the next update. I've already told you how to update the same. This is about the Gemini CI open source from the Google which is available for free. So how did you like this video? do let me know in the comment how going to and how are you going to use this cli let me know in the comment box